I was asked how you can be peaceful if the whole world is on fire. <laughs> the thing about that question that I always find rather interesting is that um, that is your perception of war and your perception of tragedy. <laughs> but the truth actually is like as soon as you find this peaceful state of mind, your everyday life is super violent. So like watching people interact, the way people teach, the way people belittle, oppress. There's so many things that in your everyday life, even like just your friend being depressed, like I'm trying super hard to try and help people, but you feel super helpless because it's not really working. So anything I try, it's not really arriving. Um, so it's already like my world, even even though I live in comparative, <laughs> like I basically live in luxury compared to Ukraine, etc. And the world seems so violent. It seems so like this is why you sort of feel a need to speak out if you see the world the way that Krishnamurti sees it so he was trying to accomplish world peace and the own, he knew that he couldn't go out and tell everybody to stop fighting that doesn't work he knew that every single person there like they are in flames they are in conflict they are at war every single person that's there you can see that easily because everybody's living with the ego so this is sort of the urgency in the whole issue and as soon as you understand you can see that oh, you can't collectively make peace but you can start with one person at a time and the more people end the fires the less the world will be burning and that was the goal of Krishnamurti which is pretty obvious and people will speak of like his motive and of course he had an ego why would he speak like that and it's like no don't you understand like he devoted his life he gave his life he sacrificed his own human life to try and accomplish world peace and all he was asking you to do is to look at your own life and see that you live in a world of ideas, see it in your own life and end it. And that's what that it's a it's a joint venture. <laughs> it's a like it's a you know, the listener needs to look at their own life and see this simple, humble truth and accept that they're nothing. It's not that big of a deal. You're an average human being, lucky to be alive. And um, so in a way, what I'm doing is trying to stop the world burning, but one person at a time, I can't save the world. It doesn't work like that. <laughs> I, I just, I'm speaking to you human to human and telling you, look, I listened to Krishnamurti, I did exactly what he told you to do. <laughs> I looked at my life and I humbly accepted that, okay, so all these ideas I had of myself, all these hopes and dreams and whatever, they're all fake, they're not real. And then I lived without them. And as soon as I did, as soon as I was free from the ego, as soon as I died to myself, everything changed. You see the world differently. and. If a passing smile from a pedestrian can make your day, then you know that something significantly has changed because I was depressed for so many years and anxious and so many things like... Neurotic is the word that Krishnamurti would have used. <laughs> so, um, I obviously, I don't sit there imagining what the world is like, the genocides, the starvation, the oppression, there's so many horrible things going on in the world all the time and 
you know, like, I don't sit there thinking about it because, you know, it would make me cry, obviously, because as soon as I imagine it, you know, it doesn't make any sense, like, how many people are hungry and then other people are building rockets to go visit, like, outer space. It just doesn't make any sense that we live in a world that could do that just based on capitalism, just based on paper, some idea. It doesn't make any sense that one person can sit on the money while other people are starving. And then they're even honored by our society. <laughs> like, it's a, you know, it's, I don't want to talk about the state. Like, I don't really want to comment about the world, but <laughs> like, it's a freaking joke, <laughs> to be honest. Like, it's, I'm not gonna talk about that because all I want you to understand is that this is not really me trying to get world peace because I know that's not possible. I'm just trying to make you understand that this is all I did to be this happy. And if you want peace, if you want inner peace, if you want that feeling that you think you're gonna get when you get that promotion or that car or that fancy lady or whatever, if you want that feeling of finally arriving, no matter where you are, what state you're in. All you need to do is die to yourself. Recognize your ego as an idea. See it in your own life. And decide that you're done with all the struggling and conflict and drama and whatever. <laughs> Thank you very much for listening. And one love. Talk to you soon.